Hallelujah. Father, thank you for this opportunity. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. You may be seated. Now, today, um, I believe from the Chalak night, we were delivered a prophetic word that we shall be wise, it's a year to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Now, there are many harmful things that we have engaged ourselves in. They harmed us, they were harmful to our lives, to us personally, to others, and to the kingdom. So, we are becoming harmless in 2021. Amen. Amen. Now, in, um, in the same vein, the wisdom of God is that we are going to be wise as serpents. Now, in the wisdom of a serpent, you have many, many wonderful keys which I'm not going to go into today, but I believe throughout the year, I'm just sharing with you that that is a prophetic message that throughout this year, pick that book and look into it. One of the chapters somewhere, you'll find something important for your life. Amen. Now, usually, there is one thing that is critical for you. If you look at Colossians chapter 3, this is just a little follow-up from Chalak Night. If you look at Colossians chapter 3, look at verse 18. What does it say? Wives, do what? Submit. Submit. Then verse 19. Husbands, love. And an amazing little segment there. Be not bitter. Because in Christianity, you as a husband can become bitter. Then verse 20. Children, obey. Then 21, fathers, provoke not your children. (laughs) Don't tempt them or cause them to be stirred up. And verse 22, servants, obey. So, you see, everybody has like something that is critical for you. What I'm trying to say, you can't say that servants are not to love they are wives. They are also supposed to love their wives. But I'm just trying to say that there are many, many things to do.
You see, you are out of full-time ministry because of the lack of humility. But you may not know it. You are out of certain things because of a lack of humility. So today is a very short Sunday. Today is the first Sunday. Everybody's wearing white. Those of us in blue will get prizes. Yes. All those in blue, please see me after church. We are forming a club. Because you must be led when you are coming to church. <laughs> yes. If you are in blue, immediately after church, you come and we are forming an association. I have the red association for last week. And today is blue. And I knew when I was wearing the blue that I said that these people, those who are led, will wear blue today. Yeah, you are told to wear white, but it's better to obey God than man. All right. Now, Matthew chapter 18, verse 3. And he said, Verily I say to you, except you are converted, and that is the conversion we are working on now, and become as little children, you shall not enter. Or you shall not take your next step. Supposing you are supposed to step into something. He's saying unless you are converted. You cannot enter. And it's so true. I cannot describe even one of the rooms. Of my life or ministry. That I have not entered. Without the step of being converted. Yeah. Except you are converted and become, not born again, become as a little child. You will not enter. That, that's the truth. That's, it's, just, it's just pure. And entering things. You know when Elijah, Elijah told Elisha to go and uh, anoint Elisha to be prophet in thy room. To be prophet in thy room. So there are rooms. Jehu the son of Nimshi shall thou anoint to be king over Israel. And Elisha the son of Shaphat of Abel Mohola. Shall thou anoint to be prophet in thy room. He will be the prophet in your room. So a prophet has a room. And until you enter that room, you are not going to have what is in that room. So there are rooms for you to enter. And when you enter that room, you have all the things in that room. If you are admitted to a hotel room which has so many things, it's when you enter that room then you are able to access the various facilities that are in that room. But you have to enter the room first. There are many rooms for you to enter this year. And nothing is holding you back from entering those rooms. In Jesus' name. Do you believe it? Now, many years ago, this scripture jumped out of the Bible to me. And the word which jumped out from this verse, Matthew 18, verse 3, is the word enter. Yes, enter. And I felt the Lord was showing me, this is the way to enter things. You cannot enter rooms, places, houses, situations, things, ranks, unless you are converted. A 
And when you are converted, you are converted to the state of a child. And the state of a child is not in size or in height. Because you stop growing from about 18, all your epiphyses will fuse. But not that height. But in terms of the characteristic of a child, which is humility. So, in the last few weeks, I've been sharing with you from my book, Those Who Are Proud. It's a very important book. I was inspired to write this book, particularly, almost every book I read about loyalty, there was an, an orangu or some kind of experience made me realize how important this aspect is. And I had an experience, I realized how people are so proud when they become orangus, disloyal and rebellious. And that the pride actually prevents them from going to the room that they want to go to. Because every, every disloyal person wants to be great. And thinks that by vaunting himself, he will become great. Now, today, in this book, I'm going to look at one, just one chapter, I think. And it's chapter four, Mind Not High Things. Yes, that's all I want to say to you this morning. Mind not high things. <laughs> Are you there? Romans 12 and verse 16. Mind, be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things. That's all. But condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. All right? The poor people of this world do not have all the high things that the rich people have. If you are very conscious of high things, it means you are only conscious of the rich. Minding high things will cause you to despise the very people you are called to minister to. And it will cause you to despise the places you are called to go to. Minding high things will cause you to create a class conscious church. All right? Now, every minister of the gospel must be conscious of the lowly things that poor people have to deal with. Amen. Now, let me read on. It is only a proud heart that thinks about high things and minds high things. That's why the Bible, teacher, the Bible teaches us not to mind high things. Minding high things, noticing high things, being conscious of high things is the hallmark of a proud person. Minding high things is not compatible with true ministry. When high things matter so much to you, you cannot be a true minister of the gospel. Why should you be turned away from the people Christ loves? Amen. Now, what does it mean to mind high things? Minding high things is a very important, mind not high things, is a very important instruction for all of us. Because when your mind is on high things, you, get, you end up getting low things. And you end, up, you end up heading towards what your mind is on. And when your mind is on something, it doesn't take long for the thing to get into your heart. One time, Kenneth Hagin had a vision. He had eight of these visions between 1952 and 1958. 1952 and 1958. And in one of them, he was in a pastor's house, and he, the, this pastor who he was with, was, he was there with his daughter, and um, I think the pastor's wife was not there. But he was there. He was living with his daughter, his little daughter. And it was time for his daughter to go to bed. So the pastor said they had gone to preach. said they were sitting at the kitchen table having a glass of milk. And then he said, it was, he said they had been talking after church. And they said, oh, it's 11 o'clock already. 
let Brother Higgins pray with you so that you go to bed. So, they got, he got up and knelt down at the kitchen table. The little girl was going to go up. Let's let, let Brother Hagen pray for you. They called him Brother Hagen. We call him Papa Hagen. So when he knelt down, said as soon as he knelt down, he knelt down into a cloud and Jesus was standing there for two hours. Yes. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Yes. No praise and worship, nothing. Just kitchen. Drinking milk. Somebody's daughter. Let, them pray, let him pray with you and you'll go to bed. And suddenly he was in a cloud and Jesus appeared to him. And Jesus spoke to him about the past, a pastor who actually seemed to be in the story, seemed to be that, that, that pastor's wife. Because he had been married and this wife used to be a good singer. She was with him in the ministry for 20 years. She was a good singer. But one day, she was, and I'm telling you this for a reason. When I say, mind not high things. She was with him, and one day she was, he, in the Lord showed him, said, I want you to see what happened to her. This is how demons get hold of people. She was in her room dressing up. And while she was dressing up, she looked at herself in the mirror. And then a thought came to her that, you are a beautiful lady, eh? You could have been out there singing in the clubs and so many, you would have had so much money. I followed this man. Look, what do you have? What do you have? And in the vision, he saw the woman standing in front of the mirror, dressing up, and the demon came to sit on her shoulder. And when the thoughts came to her mind, she dismissed the, she she did something and the thing went off her shoulder. Yeah. And the thing came back again the second time. Sat on her shoulder again with the same thoughts. You would have had a, you would have been so much better off in the world. How beautiful you are. I said she was, she was a beautiful lady. And that's when I, I think and I think said that some ladies have a little something extra. She said, every girl is beautiful, but some have a little something extra. Yes. <laughs> and she shoot it off her shoulder. And the third time when it came, this time she listened to the thing. And she, she began to think those thoughts. And she began to agree with it. And then she said that the thing moved from her shoulder her shoulder into her head so she became like glass so he saw it like a round dot it moved into her head then she left her husband yeah after 20 years and went away from her husband and started to sing in nightclubs and started to move with different men now obviously the marriage broke up now, when he was, this other pastor was going to marry again, I'm sure again, even though she had left him, I don't know, maybe she didn't want it, but in the vision, she had come to the town to come and cause trouble. Yes. But the pastors went to this lady to talk to her. And when they went to the hotel, he saw it in the vision. She came to the door. They were trying to counsel her, talk to her. Bible says that wisdom from above is easy to be entreated. She came to the door with an, a now a nightgown that was open. Yes. All these are part of the stories. If you take time to listen to him talking. We open that and she talked to the pastor. She said, look, you Jesus Christ and whatever you can go to hell. I don't want you. I don't want. And she said that as soon as she said that. The, the glass, the, the dot that moved, had moved from her shoulder to her head, moved down into the, the heart. 
So it moved from outside to the head and from the head into the heart. Yes. That's what I'm trying to show you. When the Bible says, mind not high things, there are thoughts you shouldn't have. And of course, when you watch certain things on your phone and you watch certain videos, and I can tell you, those of you young ones and even younger ones, when you touch certain things, you are actually touching evil spirits because once a thought gets into your head, you change. If I've ever, I've ever seen something that changed the personality of people is pornography. Yeah. Their personality changes. So the Bible says, don't. That one time, Kenneth Hagin, I was listening to him preaching, and uh, he said, Jesus appeared to him, and he said, Look, you will have so many questions to ask Jesus if he appears to you. And he said he had things to ask. So he said he came and Jesus was leaving. And he remembered one of the things to ask him. So he called him and he asked him, Lord, why did this person die? Because somebody had died. Why did this person die? And then the Lord answered him and said, the secret things belong to the Lord. Mm. Then he told him, don't, the, the, the death of that person, don't, he was trying to tell him, don't think about it. So he told me, don't touch it with your thought life. Don't even touch it with your thought life. Why this thing has happened. If you don't touch it with your thought life. Those were his words. Don't touch that with your thought life. Yes. Don't touch that with your thought life. Some things, when you think about them, it will affect you. And it was, in his case, it was, why some particular person had died? So don't touch it with your thought life. So, the things your, you, your mind is on, before you realize, your heart is on it. And the Bible says, mind not high things in this world, but condescend to men of low estate. If you want to move into the rooms that God has for you in this life, in this world, don't mind high things, I'm telling you. The, the, the big things of the world, trust, trust the Bible. Trust the word of God. When you see high things, no, I don't need you. I need to condescend to men of low estate. Hmm. Are you with me in chapter 4? Are you, do you people have the same Macarius that I have? Okay. Now, let me give you the list of things and then I'll just chat with you and then we close. Yeah. Mind not high things, number one. Minding high things is to be conscious of the type of car a person drives. Yes. Number two. Minding high things is to be conscious of where a person lives. And where do you live? Zamrama line. <laughs> Number three. Minding high things is to be conscious of the type of house a person lives. And you notice that a child doesn't know that my father's car is lesser than your father's car doesn't know there's a difference, but a grown-up who is filled with pride knows the difference. Huh? Oh, I'm wrong. Which child knows the time? Oh, that this house is the cost is this. I don't know. Except you become like a child. You're not going far. Number four, mining high things is to be conscious of whether a person travels first class or economy class. Number five, mining high things is to be conscious of people's education in the wrong way. 
Which school did you go to? Which school did you go to? Pardon? Which one, which one is that? Huh? Kumasi Anglican. <laughs> Number six. Minding high things is to be conscious of a person's age in a certain way. If you are too conscious of age, when you see people too conscious, I'm your senior, you know. I'm your senior. Eh? You know, I was appointed before you, you know. You know, I've been around longer than you, eh? First Samuel 17, verse 42. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him for he was but a youth. He disdained him. He looked down on him because of his age. So when God is going to bring somebody of a certain age to you, you, you look down. On him. Number seven. Minding high things is to be conscious of a person's color, a person's nationality, or a person's tribe. People ask, are you one? Are you one? <laughs> you eat this? Minding high things is to be conscious of the size and profile of a person's, somebody's church. Yes. 1 Samuel 17, verse 28. And Eliab, his eldest brother, heard him when he spake unto the man. And Eliab's anger was kindled against David. And he said, Why camest thou down hither? And with whom hast thou left those few sheep? So you see, he was looking down on him for the few sheep that he seemed to have. Verse 9. Minding high things is to limit your ministry to places of wealth. Yes. I only go to, um, I'll be in Paris. So I, God has called me, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'm going to Washington and from Washington I'll be in Tokyo and from Tokyo to Copenhagen and from Copenhagen I'll pass through Cairo on my way to Accra. Wow. Mind not high things. Now, every advice comes by minding not high things and condescending to men of low estate. You see, large churches, large churches are filled with poor people. Medium-sized churches are filled with middle class and rich people. If the church will be large, is poor people or nobodies. Yes. <laughs> the churches that have prophets ministering to the needs of many, many people are all poor people. The churches which have teachings, good teaching, whatever, have people like middle class type of people. They have a teacher, teachings, and so on. <laughs> true or not true? Yes. Yes. There will be doctors, teachers, lecturers, middle class, businessmen, people with contracts, people who know some politicians here and there, a couple of sprinkle of assemblymen, MCs here and there, an, an MP, a CEO, and a full car park. Yes. When, when you mind high things, so I want professors to be in my church, I want MPs to be in my church, I want rich people to be in my church, your church will be, your church rather will be small. Because of that mind. Yeah. That mind will, will limit your church to a very small church. Yeah. When I moved from the Kodesh, I rather had a bigger church. Yeah. The, the first love church that we are building is far bigger than the Kodesh, than the Jesus Cathedral. Far. 
Yes. Huh? With fewer cars. And a smaller car park. And more buses. Minding high things leads you in the opposite direction of where you want to go. I'm telling you. Minding high things. Yeah. Yeah. I met one brother, he said, what, he came to me, saw me in, in England, I said, why is it that you don't have white people in your church? I said, I'm appointing you as a pastor. Go and do it. <laughs> do it. I love them so much. <laughs> he went to a white area uh, to start the church. Shelley. <laughs> <laughs> His church is full of Ghanaians and Nigerians. <laughs> Minding high things will take you away from victory, from all the blessings that have been proclaimed over your life. It's true. You need a house, mind not high things. You will have a house. Yes. Many years ago, you see, I moved into my own house. I was 29 years old. I was in my 20s. Yes. I've never rented a house. And by the grace of God, and somebody took me to the house. I've never seen that area before. You see, where I grew up, it's not that area. <laughs> it's far from where I grew up and where I know. I just know some few, knew from few places in Accra. Those, those places, the roads are tired. That's where I grew up. But when he took me there, I couldn't even find my way back. It's true. No, yes. Yeah, I didn't know how to go there. He told me this is a good place. And I said, Amen. It's a good place. And that was it. Yes. It's a blessing. If your mind is on high things, you will never you you, you see. My mother showed me, you see, airport is supposed to be the one of the richest areas. My mother showed me in airport. They were walking in a bush with a surveyor. Yes. My brother was building there. He was walking in, with, in the bush. With the surveyor was measuring the forest. The forest was airport. Yes. In my lifetime. Yes. So, my, you watch and see. This area, you see one day, nobody can buy land. Even already, you can't buy land in this area. Yes. Yeah. Mind not high things will make you have what you think you are losing is what you will be getting. Yes. What is the first one? When you mind where, where people live. Sir, I have to be in America. Most of the people who have forced themselves to go to America, it's not easy for them. They can't come back. If it was not for the church, people would not be coming for holidays in Ghana. Thank God for the church. Homecoming and other programs we have been having. Yes. Even that is not easy. America, America or suicide. America or suicide. And the mind is fixated. It is because our minds are on high things. That's why many people who could have been missionaries and would have been better off, far, far better off. But when they say the word USA, UK, Germany, they say, aha, 
That's why a pastor, they were preaching and they said, you, you are going to be my missionary in Berlin. Amen. You are going to be my missionary in Paris. Amen. I receive it. You are going to be my missionary in California. I receive it. I submit, Lord, to your perfect will. Then when he pointed, he said, you are going to be my missionary in Burkina Faso. Katabora Baya. God forbid. God forbid. God for I reject every curse, every every work of darkness, dark shadow that is approaching my life. I refuse it in Jesus' name. Why? Minding high things. What is wrong with Burkina Faso? Aha! Your mind is on high things. It sounds better. It sounds greater. Working for the church doesn't sound as great as working for. Mention the banks. But today, today, many people rather who came into full-time ministry are better off. The banks that they were following collapsed. We had how many banks collapsed in Ghana? When I was, when I was coming full-time, I let me mention about Seven businesses that maybe you know of. GNTC. Have you heard of GNTC? It was a shop. That was our Melcom and those, those days. GNTC. UTC. And Kingsway. These were the main shops. Supermarkets and malls. Vodi Technic. I don't know where it is today. Uh, Glamour was another major shop. Ghana Airways was a major airline. I see some people here who used to work for Ghana Airways. <laughs> they should own up. <laughs> steers. Steers. We had a, something called Steers. Yes. Nando's. We also had Nando's. Yes. They are all evaporated. The church is still there. Yeah. So you see, our minds, where you I must live in the UK. I must live in Switzerland. Yes. I am, I am half Swiss. I should rather be saying I'm going to Switzerland. But I thought my mind is not there. I, as a child, I spoke fluent German. Fluent. Yes. Because my, mother, my grandmother doesn't speak even one word of English. What what organ? Do what language? You... <laughs> what language do you think I was speaking with my grandmother? <laughs> These are places I know as a child. When I when I when I walk in certain towns in Switzerland, they are my town. I walk up and down all the time over there. And here I am in the eastern region <laughs> of Ghana. <laughs> it's working here. Mind not high things, oh. Hmm. Condescend to men of low estate. Yeah. Yeah. What's the next point? I, have, I gave you all the points so that you give them to me. Then I preach. Conscious of the type of car. Yeah. You see people, you, you have decided to buy a BMW at all costs. It must be a German car. Have you ever tried to repair a BMW or a Mercedes Benz? Have you tried to buy spare parts before? To find the part. Now your mind is fixated. I must have this. I must have this. Yes. When I see people fixated on cars, they are funny to me. Yes. They are like children playing with toys. It's true. What is a car? And you see that 
One day I was, I passed him, somebody came to look at her. Hey, wow. Huh? So I just look at her. What is wrong with this man? <laughs> Do you know how many people have had so many problems because of cars? Yes. So many, many problems. People hate you even because of your car. And I don't want to go on about that. Because I would say some other things, which I need a lot of explanation to explain. What's the next one? House. Where you live. The house. Whether you travel first class or economy. When you talk of a car, you see, I, I grew up with my father. My father never drove any other car apart from Mercedes Benz. That's the only car I knew as a child grew, until I grew up. When my father died, that was the car that he was using, Mercedes Benz. And my father-in-law. I come from a family with Mercedes Benz. That's, that's, we never use any other car. Oh, yes, on both sides. Both my wife and my, 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 my own father. I hear there's some other type of business with other names. Maybach. Maybach. Well, May something. I've, I've not seen it. <laughs> but that's the only car that I knew. You cannot achieve great things with your mind on certain high things. It's not that I don't know it. That's the only thing I knew. I've never, my father, my father never traveled even in business class, only in first class. Only, I say that my father, he will, you will never see him in any, he said, he said his legs are long, he cannot sit at the back. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was a little child when I started to travel in first class with him, with him. My, if you think, if you fixate your mind on certain things that you must have, you cannot, I could not enter my ministry with all this. Which, which class am I going to sit in? Economy. It's what I need. I've flown economy for years. That's what I can afford. Many times. And even today, when I have to in economy, I'm in economy. Yeah. You, might, you think of certain things, you will never travel. That's right. <laughs> I'm saying that, you see, what you people don't know is that eh, these high things, eh, we have seen them, uh, we, we, didn't, we never even saw the low side. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we never even saw the low side before we were even whatever. That's why people don't have anything. Yeah. That's why people are poor. I'm telling you, the next step, eh, that's why your basenta is few people. Because you want to say, so, oh, this is a me, me. You see, people call people and say, this is a meaty church member. What is a meaty member? He's selling uh, iron rods. He sells uh, cutting materials. He has a shop. That if you are ever going to have a big ministry, it will be people without shops, people without jobs, people without nothing, without phones. And there will be plenty. When you mind high things, your church will be very small. We stopped having Swollen Sunday because it was, there was no point. You can have as much as 5,000 people going home. It was madness. So we just we decided to stop that thing because the people just can't get anywhere. Yeah, because we build the church too small. When we started First Love Church, you know, there was a time I used to pray that Lord send us cars. And when we started First Love Church, I started to meet you in the past. I said, look, we don't need cars in our church. We need buses. <laughs> we don't need, thank God if people get cars, but we need buses. Mind not high things. Hmm? 
I will just advise you. So, some of you, that's why you, you don't have many clothes. Because you have only expensive things. Huh? People are wearing suits, then they'll, they'll be measured. I've been places where somebody will be looking at my suit. But, uh, after that, they're saying, I'll never wear this suit again. I'll wear this, my step. You can decide. So one day I wore my normal, I walk into a meeting, we'll just, we'll just wipe it. That's all. Then they have to say, Wow. He said, When I saw you, I thought it was like a president. Or, I said, Yes. <laughs> yes. My five CDs dress, it is working. <laughs> These are what kings wear in Africa. This is what we are wearing. Yeah. That one, you cannot come and hold it and see whether it's what. things. That's why people don't want to be pastors. So what, what is it? When they say, when they say you are a pastor, so, hmm. it's better to be a doctor when they mention. If I was to mind high things, I would never have left my noble profession being a medical doctor to become a pastor in Kolegono. Yes. My mind will be thinking, sir, so I'll be a professor, of doctor of MBCH, T, F, L, Q, P, P, R, S, S, F, M, G, Q. Wow. Does it not sound for the professor of this, director of this, I mean, uh, masters in this, uh, PhD in that, this in that, work at this place, work at that, international director, double doctorate, work at this, this and that. So when it comes to distinguish, wow, that's the dark. No. When I, I said, okay, give it up. And you think I wasn't good in school? I was, I was good. I was good. I was at the top. I was at the top by the grace. Oh, yes. I only say these things. So I'm trying to help you to see. That, uh, don't mind. Don't think of high things. And I descend. He said, but condescend. You see, condescend, the word con is just trying to uh, massage your eyes. But really, what he's trying to say is descent. Descent. It descent. Uh-huh. Descent. Calm down. Calm down. Descent. Descent. The real word you are looking for is descent. <laughs> it's not con descent. Don't let it confuse you. Forget about the con. It's descent. The con is there to con you. Kalamashapara <laughs> bandala. And as I descended, my members, you know, recently one of my pastors, he was, I, I, I converted him from Colego. No? He said he was leaving the church, but it really hurt me because he's somebody who is precious to me. Because I remember how Kolegono, those days, you know, ah, he, said, he could not speak English. We brought him up and became a pastor. Beautiful. Yeah. These are the people. These are my people. For years, that's all we had. Con- dis- dis- forget about con. Dis- <laughs> Kolegono, I didn't know anybody there. Because I had not been to that area before. I hadn't got friends there. My friends were at Laboni. It's true. Rather by descending, you rather 
see things that you never would have seen. That, that, that's the amazing part. By descending. <laughs> Everything that I, I never thought I would see. I mean, I knew that I would never see again. By minding my eyes. Okay, no, no, I will not think about that. I would rather go and do the will of God. I will not be thinking about it. I, and when you descend to men of low estate, you, on your mind is that I will only see people of low estate. But I rather look at the people that I've met in my life. Presidents. Yes. I'll show you. This what? President of where? Swaziland. Prime, Prime Minister of Swaziland. Yeah. And this is a vice president of Liberia. Yeah. President Mills. I was in the castle. Wait, show him. No, I was, I was in the castle. I, I, by descending. Uh huh. And as a president of uh, Guinea. Yeah. I've been taking pictures with all these people. President of Mali. Yeah. Beautiful. President of Sierra Leone. Yeah. President Rawlings. Is that not a beautiful picture? Wait, go back to President Rawlings. Yeah. Beautiful picture. Yeah, I was with him in his house. Yeah. Wearing my, simp- my five CDs uh, dress. And I go on. Yeah. Prime Minister of Guinea Bissau. Yeah. Don't mind high. So when you mind high things, you will not see what God has planned for you. Do you think, as a doctor, I would have seen what, what would I have explained to, to see this man? As a doctor, sharing chloroquine. What, what reason would I make to see? He has his own doctors. He has a lot of doctors. He'll go to France when he's not feeling well. Do you think he will listen to me? Uh, go on. Ah, yeah, the vice president of Ghana. Vice president elect as well. Four more. Yeah, go on. You think I'll see these people? Go on. President Mahama. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Huh? Yeah, that's Good Friday. He was there. He came to church. He, came, he attended our church service. Yeah. And then who again? Pre- no, no. Yeah. Four more to do more. He's here. Fellow Guineans. Yeah. And then in Benin, I was honored by the president. The president of Benin. And then, and who, who again? Is there any more? President of Nicaragua. Yeah. Noriega. Daniel Ortega. Sorry. Yeah. President of Burundi. Yeah. Who just died? Yeah. President of Namibia. Condescend to men of low estate has rather made me meet such people. Is it not fantastic? What is this one? Yeah. This is in the president's office. Yeah. President of Namibia. Yeah. That's Bishop who? Bishop Prince, Dr. Ogo. (laughs) Yeah. This is the president's office. Listen, I'm just explaining to you that as your mind is fixated on high things, you never see them. As you say, no, forget about it. I'm descending. You would rather be surprised that what you thought you would never see in this world is actually what you end up seeing. Yes. Yes. It's amazing. Is it not amazing? Yeah. So I, I just want to tell you, look, as we go into this new year, your next step forward is actually mind not high things. Say, look, Charlie, I don't want this expensive, great things, but if it doesn't, we are going for children. We are going to reach out to small boys and babies. We are going to secondary school. They have zero minus zero. Zero minus what? Zero. They are zero. They don't have even hair. They've cut, they, all the girls have cut their hair. But we like them. Do we like them or we don't like them? We like them, Papa. Yes. Descent. Spend time counseling somebody who is 13 years old. 
Yes, spent time. Bishop Betty said he was 13 years old when he gave his life to Christ. Spent time. Spent time as though the person is the most important person. Whenever I talk with people, you, you would think he's the only person I'm talking to. That's why if there's no timekeeper, it will go on forever. Because the person is the most... I don't think of other people when I'm talking to one person. That person is everything. Yes. It's everything to me. Is that person's life and issues. Yeah. Just descend and be with, I mean, nothingness that God gives to us as a church. Rather, you'll be surprised. Can you believe we have had even this first love church? We have even had president. I wasn't here, but we have had presidents visit when President Kufo came here. I wasn't even there. And he came when I was not even around. He said, just a lower. He was in the church when you were, when you were out of town. Beautiful. It's amazing. As your mind is on, I must get this. I must. Ma-. That's why I may not get a good husband because your mind is on height. It's like, I need somebody who went to uh, this school and went to that school and who is like this and who is like that and who is like this and who is like that and who is like this and who is like that and who is like this and who is like that and who is like this and who is like that. Hey. But you don't know that this funny little person that you marry you never imagine that what he's going to turn out to become, eh? You are laughing at the way he pronounces certain words. You are laughing at the way he puts his finger inside his nose and then clears it out COVID-19 style. Some older, some older ladies would have had Nice husbands. I hear it's called cougar or something. Cougar. Is that what it's called? Cougar. Cougar is what? Older lady. So who is the cougar? And the lady. Yeah. They would have some, of, some of the older ladies who can't get a husband, they would have been so okay to have a nice young man if they were only condescend to men of low estate. It's true. Okay, you say O oh, and be there. So. <laughs> when Derek Prince's first wife met Derek Prince, 25 years old, he was, I think, 25 and she was 50. Yes. So she was 20, she was 25 years older than him. She she was she she, she looked after orphans. She she formed an orphanage in Israel. And she was looking after um, children with abnormalities. Some couldn't speak, some, some couldn't do things. And they were rejects from families and so on. She gathered all of them. And she looked after them. She was just there. She trusted God for her life. And one day, the soldiers were passing by. And he said, oh, there's this lady who is whatever. So I think he just passed by. I don't know how. And then he met her. As, he, as a young man, he looked at this like something that is like his mind. You know, there were times later when he finished preaching, people would tell his wife, your son really ministered powerfully today. Is it. Yeah. <laughs> your son really ministered powerfully today. <laughs> no, but that was later. But initially you wouldn't know, but maybe it was later because he became, I think, like 70 and so on. She was much older. And then she died. When he died, when she died, you should have seen the, you should see Derek Prince. Up to now, when he, to, when he talks about it, he starts to cry. He said, I mean, you see that he almost developing some bitterness against God for taking his wife. He said, few people can say what he can say about marriage. How he loved his wife. Both of them. The first and the second. And the second one, he found her in a wheelchair. He said, I like you. <laughs> condescend condescend karama shakata barandala are you listening
listen to what I'm preaching. Yeah, I've, I've finished preaching or told I just wanted to chat with you. Yeah. Mind not high things, so that's why you are where you are, because your mind is on high things. As you see, as, as you see me here with the children, oh, I'm I'm happy. When I came to when I came here, at first I used to preach 30 minutes. 30 minutes. When I came, I didn't know the time. I didn't, I don't, there was no clock. And somebody called me and said, ah, the message has been divided into three. It's about two and a half hours. I said, what? Now, when I'm talking, nobody is tired. I found people. Charlie? Your life is about to change. The next step forward is, a, hey, I don't mind any hiding again. Yeah. I'm condescending and descending. I'm descending and descending to men of law. Any no, nobody that you see, eh, let the person be important to you. I'm telling you, witness with your heart, follow up with your heart, call the person with your heart, gather your basenta with your heart, build the church with your heart, organize everything. The lowest, nothing. Don't worry. So this person is a dragger. Don't worry. He's a prisoner. What can he? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. One time I walk into a president's house. He swears, to, to what do I owe this honor? I was shocked. To what do I owe this honor? One evening, I was thinking, uh, nobody wants to know whether I'm a doctor. It's the church, oh. This small, the, the low work that I chose to do. That one rather beautiful. May God strengthen you and guide you in your life to condescend to men of low estate. Yeah. 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 I see you doing well. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it also means don't need to marry a tall person. It's just a low estate. It could mean that too. It could mean that. It could mean that. You never know. You never know. What is the meaning of low? It's also low. What is the meaning of low? Estate, is it not the word stature? When you get the estate, stature. Descent. Brothers. Brothers. Condescend to men, women of low estate. Yes. I told you the story I, I saw in Colombia, right? I didn't tell you that story. You are lying. You people, you are lying in church. <laughs> I was with Bishop Richard. We went downstairs in the hotel. And there were these guys, Americans, that were sitting in the lobby. Bishop Richard, do you remember? And they were, uh, what were they doing? Oh, yes, tell us. They were, they were going through something like a catalog. Catalog. Catalog yeah. with different different ladies ladies different asian ladies colombian yes colombian Columbia, ladies. yes yes south american ladies yes each page was yes. one lady yes each page you see a beautiful girl sitting yes. there and why were they coming all the way from america to colombia to because they said these girls in colombia are more submissive yes. flowy easy going do not have that type in america huh? Condescend. They condescended yeah. to Colombia to come yeah. and get good wives. <laughs> you see? The stories are true. Mind not high things. Father, let all your children take the next step forward into the next great thing that you have in store. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your help. And thank you for your power. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that 
We are not going to mind high things. But we are condescending. And through your mighty power, we shall see the next room that you have ordained for us in our lives. We give you thanks. And we give you praise. Every standing. Every standing. Now, as every head is bowed and every eye closed, you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. You want to say, Pastor, somebody invited me to church, but I want to give my life to Jesus today. The happiness you are looking for, you find it when you descend to normal, ordinary men of low estate. You find it in Jesus, where the ordinary people who love Jesus are found. Father, thank you for all the people who are here who want to give their lives to you. If you are here and you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, lift up your right hand. I'm going to pray with you right now. Maybe somebody invited you. You want to give your life to God, your heart to Jesus. Maybe you are watching on TV. You want to give your life to Jesus. On Facebook, on the phone, on YouTube, wherever. Pastor, pray with me. I need Jesus. If you want to give your life, your hand must be up. If you've lifted your hand, come to me in the front and lift your hand up at home. And let's pray together in your room, wherever you are. Come quickly, wherever you are. Come unto Jesus. Come on, my friend. Let me pray with you. Say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I give my heart to you. I give my life to you. Please write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Please write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Wash me, Jesus, with your blood. Thank you for washing me, for saving me today. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. God bless you for watching. If you also give your life to Christ on the screen, there's a number plus 233560333079. You give your life to Jesus. Just um, send us a message. And by just sending us a text or WhatsApp on that number, and we are going to get back to you. And especially if you are lonely, you are not happy, you are depressed, or you are in a crisis, also send us a message, and we are going to get back to you. We are very interested in being with you. Amen. Now, all of you in front here, please go this way with our pastor. She's waving her hand here. Go this way. God bless you. Please clap for this amazing souls now you may be seated now where's Rudy, is Rudy here I need Rudy is it Rudy yeah Rudy and uh, and
Because you see, we didn't just mind high things, but the low, small boys. Yeah. I just wanted to show that they are our children. When we were when we were in Switzerland, they were like this. <laughs> Three years and two years and one year. They are becoming bishops. Fantastic. Mind not high things. Please remember it all. One girl got a beloved. She said, This one has a travel mark. One girl got a beloved. She said, No, he didn't go to Achimota school. One girl got a beloved. I mean, everything there was something. And where does it lead to? It leads to years of loneliness and sorrows. When you marry somebody, you will now notice his kindness and his love and not his height or even his face. You will not even see the face. Yes. Most girls, when they ask them, whatever, they say, oh, he's caring. This is how they talk, he's caring. You've not heard them saying it before. So that's all the marks you get. You get only marks for caring. The rest are not getting many marks. Mind not high things. When, when you mind not high things, you are the next to be an amazing star. Everything you think you will not get, that's rather what you get. You go to a place and somebody seems to this one has a car, this one has this, this one has that. Why does it, don't think of that? Mind not hide it, rather think of how, how to work hard. Yeah, how to help, how to be of use. Yes, what a blessing. And you'll be shocked at where you'll be in life. Yeah. You'll be shocked at the kind of marriage you will experience and the good things you see yeah because you didn't put your mind on high things we must have a wedding that is whatever and even the first lecture you don't struggle for wedding because this place is here even if there's no decoration the place is nice already and you and you know it you know it Need of the, the building itself is decorated. Decoration. It's difficult even to decorate it because it's already decorated. Now I'm leaving this chair because I want to go whether there are mature men. There are mature men with who wear suits. Mature men. I want to see whether I'm mature men. With, I want to marry somebody who is like a father to me. So small small boys small small boys I need a father figure <laughs> beautiful is there anybody in this room who doesn't need this message is there anybody in this room who thinks that this message applies to you yes and you know one of the things you must know my titles so I'll work if you appoint me Work without appointment, without ceremony, without ropes, without anything. Just work. You'll be loved. You'll be loved and loved and loved and loved. Beautiful. Right. What is the next step? Communion. You know how how come we started to have the blessing of communion by minding not high things one day i called my secretary i said you know something this golden cup is disturbing us the golden cup and golden place that we use for communion disturbs us it makes it difficult to have it throw it away bring me a normal whatever yeah suddenly communion became normal and simple Complex things can keep you away from your destiny. Yes. 
have to hold the golden cup. I have to do this, do this, do this. Hey! What a great blessing. Take out your bread. This is my body, which is broken for you. Drink, this is my blood, which was shed for you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. The cup of blessing which we bless it's the communion of the blood of Christ the bread which we break it's the communion of the body of Christ oh this is the holy meal the meal of God mm -hmm. it will sustain you it will make you whole it will give you Lift life when I see the blood Father Thank you for many blessings that come to us. The cup of blessing which we bless. Is it not the communion? Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? As we partake of your holy body. Father, let power flow as a surge through everyone that is part of this great communion. Diseases are healed. Conditions are cancelled. Diagnoses are reversed. Healing comes to all by the power of the word and the power of the holy body which is manifest at this time. The body of Jesus Christ. When I see the blood oh, 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 oh yeah I will pass over you fornication, the wash of adultery, the wash of wickedness, the wash of evil by the blood of the Lamb. This blood speaks better things. It will defend you. The blood of Jesus Christ. Supernatural turnaround. 
I say receive a supernatural turn around in the name of Jesus Christ receive wisdom the wisdom of the serpent the wisdom that makes you survive where bigger ones couldn't survive it shall be a year of grace and glory for your life in Jesus name let me hear your loudest amen. amen throughout this year you'll be hearing congratulations well done congratulations well done whatever made you cry in 2020 this year you will find yourself laughing about it to your surprise receive a year of good surprises receive a year of good surprises in the name of Jesus Christ mataka lora hinda imochanda emende baramando la minde ke baranda la masanda la ba it is your year of service to God you will serve God like you've never served God all your life when you look back after 2021 you wonder did I ever was I ever a servant of God before this or you shall be an anointed servant in his house let me hear your loudest amen it is your year of bearing much fruit in the house of the Lord every spot of barrenness that is around you the smell of barrenness and nothingness in God doing nothing in God is cancelled over your life in the name of Jesus. All harmful practices that make you barren in God are cut off in Jesus' name. Deception, wickedness, duality, doubleness is removed from your life permanently. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Every word that I have spoken in your direction comes to pass and is confirmed with speed. In the name of Jesus. 2021. Turning around things. Turning around things. In your favor. 2021. Turning around things. In your favor. What you cried about, you will laugh about. A year of divine laughter. A year of divine turnaround. Receive the blessing of Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. No one will be able to deny that God has chosen you. God has blessed you. God likes you this year. No one will be able to look at you and say, Ah, where is your God? It cannot happen in 2021. In the name of Jesus Christ, I banish all funerals and such activities from your future in 2021 in the name of Jesus Christ. Neither will you be the subject of a funeral nor a funeral come nigh your house. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift your hand and thank God for good health. That while the whole world is reeling under the pandemic, you'll be going higher and getting stronger. By the angel of the Lord and by the blessing and help of Jehovah, those who don't believe in God will be shocked to see you going forth with strength, crossing 70 with ease, 75 with ease, and 80 with ease. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not die swimming this year. You will not die by drowning. You will not die by accident. You will not by, die by sickness. You will not die by plane crash. You will not die by freak uh, accident. You will not die by electrocution. You will not die from COVID-19. You will not die from any cancer. In the name of Jesus. Every chronic disease that has plastered itself to you is detached from you from today in Jesus' name. 
Father, thank you that as many as believe these prophecies, yes, it shall come to pass practically. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord protect you. The Lord make his face shine on you. <laughs> the Lord be cheerful when your name comes up. Ah, the Lord make his countenance, lift up his countenance over you and bless thee and be gracious unto you. In the name of the Father and in the name of the Son, the blessing of the Lord on all my children. Ah, Father, thank you for my children. I bless them from the bottom of my heart and I thank you that the blessing of their father has prevailed. Let it be so. In Jesus' name. And everyone shouted, Amen. Whilst others will be crying, you'll be laughing. The whole of 2021. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.